It's really simple to define Porsche. It is the ultimate driver's car. I know of nothing else that feels that natural to get in and drive. From handling to performance, the sounds, the feel, the nimbleness of going through corners, I mean, it just does everything. Porsche in my life is kind of one and the same. It's been the foremost car ever since I first got a chance to drive one. I've tried lots of other cars. We've worked on lots of other cars in our shops. I've been fortunate to drive most everything. I'm always drawn back to the Porsche, the driver's car. It gives you everything you would dream about in a car, from comfort to utility to handling to performance, and really from a design standpoint, timeless. It's hard to find anything for me that compares to Porsche. As I grew up, I fell in love with racing. I used to race go-karts when I was like 10. First go-kart track I raced at was in a junkyard, so if you went off course, you ran into a wrecked car. The first sports car I ever raced is actually the car that, that, that's here right behind me. A year-old race car at the time, I was able to get this as a used car and go race. Every track was a brand new place for me, so I had to learn the track and the car at the same time. And I had a pretty good record right out of the box. I mean, we raced against much faster cars and a number of people that had been doing it for years. Most of my race experience was in super modifieds and sprint cars. First real supercar was the 959. The 959 I was fortunate to have one to drive in 1987 when they were first delivered and it was so sophisticated and it did everything so well. When I first had one here, I was told you can't legalize that car. It can't be driven in the United States. But I wasn't willing to accept anything other than we're going to find a way to do it. You know, we ended up with a law firm in Washington that said we could have a bill in Congress and create a regulation for historically significant cars. That really was the basis of the regulation. The rest is just a little bit of perseverance and luck. The 959, I've I've had it kind of at the front of my list of cars and cars that I use and drive and play with for now 30 years. I like pushing the envelope with every kind of car, street car, race car, whatever. Porsche's always done that with their cars. They've got such a huge engineering background, is constantly looking about how to make the whole car better. When you look back at the beginnings of the 959, it was really the determining factor as to what the future was of the 911. The twin turbo charged engine, and I still like manual transmission, so six speeds instead of four or five. The all-wheel drive system was unbelievable to drive through corners. The performance level, the top speed, the stability. The car was so far ahead of its time that, that uh, it's a car that I've obviously never forgotten and, and still love to this day. What makes cars valuable and different and an emotional attraction for everybody, it's the stories, it's the histories, it's the owners, it's how they were driven and how they were used, it's their capabilities, it's really a collection of all those things. I've been fortunate to drive a lot of cars. Every time I go back to 959, it just kind of does everything you want a car to do. It has performance, it has handling, it's comfortable, it really is an all-purpose, high-performance supercar.